Did you know that David Lee Roth is a wrestling historian? No, I didn't know that. In what way? Well, he had a he had a show called uh, the Roth Show, um, and he really ran the gamut talking about the history of pro wrestling in multiple episodes. Bruno, uh, he wore regular trunks. You know, there was nothing uh, gorgeous George about him. And the Iron Sheik was a two-dimensional character in that you could have drawn a picture of him. And then you had, of course, Sergeant Slaughter, you know, who represented some vague Marine Corps Army element. The Sharp Brothers couple of fellows, big guys, like six foot six, come out of the Midwest in the United States, this is after the war, versus a, uh, a fellow named Ricky Dozen, and I believe he had a uh, partner. This was a tag team match. I don't recollect his partner's name. If you're an Irish kid who likes playing rugby, well, that's Seamus. He looks like every Irish kid out there kicking a soccer ball around. The Undertaker. Death haunts those who try to wriggle free from my <laughs> deadly clutch. That's like incredible. He, like, uh, no. he loves it. But Ricky does <laughs> In what world? He's a big fan of 1950s Japanese pro wrestling. Oh, for Brett. But a wrestler. What? Where did he go? You know. Why is he talking about Ricky Dozan and the Sharp Brothers on his porch? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> What's going on with this? And it's like clearly self-funded. Yeah. You know, I, I I was on a... Uh, get him on the show. We have to get David Lee Roth on Wrestling Club. You, that, you should try to do that. Yeah. Uh, like we could get him, you know, we can lie. Say it's a different <laughs> station. Say yeah. It's a different station. Well, speaking of radio, I used to do the the bits with Jake Vogelnest on Free FM when he was very briefly a uh, morning radio show host, and I'd I'd hear some of that show. Sometimes he like there'd be a little crossover hour with Jake Vogelnest oh, yeah. and David Lee Roth, uh, and uh, yeah, he really could talk, talk about, about. Would he talk about wrestling on that show? He'd talk about anything and everything. Yeah, he's. A, he... Or it was like just him. <laughs> so so. what a weird time to be alive that David Lee Roth had an open mic for four hours every day. <laughs> the Wrestling Club with Darren and Brett. We've got a show that you'll never forget. Again.